Well, welcome everybody. It is a great day to be alive. Today is your day. It is your day. It is your day. Boy, I miss radio. God Almighty, I miss radio. Today is your day. Uh, I I saw Dawn. Uh, let me read her comment. What a wonderful day to be alive and in the presence of God. Blessings to the room. That made my baby jump. God Almighty, thank God for all of you. It is a great day to be alive. It is a great day to be alive and in the presence of the Lord. You don't have to be in church uh, to be in the presence of the Lord. You can, you can make your altar right where you are. And I'm grateful to all of you, to all of our mods. Um, some of you, I'm making honorary mods today. I just feel good. Uh, thank God for all of you. That If you don't know, I have music on Apple, I have music on all formats. Um, that is an old CD. I mean, that's about, whew, I don't know how many years old that is, but it's called Today is Your Day for a Miracle. Um, and um, y'all go download some of my music, working on new stuff that's coming out. Y'all pray for the release of that. But it is a great day to be alive. Uh, if y'all would do me a favor everywhere on Instagram, invite and share. I have a great lesson today. It won't be long, but I will be strong, Erica. Uh, blessings to you, uh, Erica. Y'all so y'all so nice to me. I, I love all of y'all. This is this is family for real. Uh, today is your day. Today is. I need y'all to put it in the comments. Today is my day. All of your chat, your um, your private chats that you send me, telling me how the word blesses you all. Man, man, oh man. Man, oh man, oh man, I wish if anybody know, if somebody do me a favor on my behalf, can y'all go in Instagram, Erica or somebody and DM Shaniqua Scott, uh, Prophetess Shaniqua Scott. What a testimony I woke up to this morning. And if she can come in the room, somebody bring Miss Jacqueline up, uh, please for me, please, ma'am and please, sir. Uh, somebody bring Miss Jacqueline up. Um, thank you, uh, Nairobi, uh, Deshaun, the day, Zai, good to see you, Linwood, Pastor Linwood, Kimberly, Dr. Paul F. Fridia, Dawn, Nikki, Erica, um, uh, Jasmine, Miss Jackie, all of y'all, 
Lottie Dottie and everybody. Um, I appreciate y'all so, so much. If y'all would share, sharing is caring. Uh, sharing is caring. Let's share. And those of you that are blue, Sophia, Darlene, where's Joy, Patricia, Joy, where, where's she at? I know she got to be on Facebook. Um, it's a good day to be alive. Hey, Stefan, thank you for always coming on, man. That means a lot to me. I, I want to talk about, uh, we, we, we dealt with self uh, the other day. And if you have not heard that message, um, hey, baby, baby Z4, I, I didn't see you. I, I got three screens to look at. I'm sorry. Um, if you have not heard the message on to, uh, uh, about dealing with yourself, uh, self-care, self-love, um, by all means, uh, make sure that you go listen to it. This is kind of, ah, uh, it's not part two, but um, I, I want to, I want to deal with us. I want to deal with us. Uh, I, I want to talk about it's in you. Thank you, Pastor Linwood. It's it's in you. Uh, uh, Shaniqua Scott. Uh, it's in you. It's in you. It's, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to deal with a couple of scriptures. Um, 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 it's in you. I don't think you know what's in you, but you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for God's own passion to proclaim the virtues of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. But you are a, a chosen people, a royal priesthood. Um, Y'all bring Barbette up. A royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's people, God's special possession that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into a wonderful light. You are, you are chosen. It's already in you. My favorite, as the old people would say, my favorite scripture in the whole entire world. My favorite scripture, it sums it up for me. Ephesians 3.20. I'm an Ephesians 3.20 guy. I need y'all to invite and share. I'm going to read it in just a minute. It's in you. I'm an Ephesians. Bring your chem up for somebody for me, please. It's in you. It's in you. Barbette, now unto him that is able to do. Stacy. Exceedingly. Abundantly. Above all that we could ask or think according to the power. Where is it at? Where is it at? According to the power that worketh in you, it's in you. The power, the ability to do, Paulette, am I doing good so far? Is y'all invite some people, please. Thank you, Linwood. Thank you, Brooke. Uh, for sharing the room and those that are sharing uh, uh, Ebony uh, it's in you according to the power that worketh in Linwood in you in you in you in you 
You ever heard people say, Linwood, I don't have it in me. I don't have it in me. I just ain't got it in me. Hey, from St. Louis, Sassy. I, I, Bishop, I just don't have it in me. I don't have it in me to do that. I've been through so much. Oh, I'm coming for you today now. I, I've been through so Hey, Joy, there you go. I don't have it in me to do that. I'm just tired. I don't, I don't have it. I don't have it. Hey, y'all, let me say this. If you ever want any of the notes, I thank God for Kimberly. Kimberly has the notes from each message and you can just back chat her and she'll give you my notes. She sends them to me and I don't ask her to do it, but she sends them to me and I appreciate you, Kimberly. So if you ever want any notes from any, give her a, a couple of days, she'll tell y'all and she'll get the notes to you. She email them to you. She's a scribe. That means she has books in her. That's it, Shaquem. Don't don't preach for me. She has a scribe anointing. She has a scribe anointing. So so. People that say I don't have it in me. They are defeating themselves, Linwood. They they you can repreach it. Go ahead, and and, and make it yours. They, 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 they say, I don't, I don't, you, you already defeating yourself because you're saying you don't have what's in you and it really is already there because that means that God was deficient. <laughs> Linwood, where's prophet Jerry? That means that God was deficient and he didn't know what he was doing when he made you. That mean that mean you were an accident and you're not, huh? I mean, when you say I don't have it in me, see, we got to be careful how we jest and we joke and we jest. Sometimes people don't realize that when they jest and they make jokes, that they hey Terry Ann, they are defeating. I need y'all to do me a favor while I'm working hard, Sammy, y'all. I need y'all to share everybody on all platforms. Um, they are, they, they, people, some people really, when they, when they playing with you, they're really saying, cause they cowards, they're really saying what they really want to say without saying it to be serious. I got my foot on the belt right there. I don't have it in me. What are you really saying? I ain't got it in me. Can you do this for me? I ain't got it in me. I can't do that. Now unto him that is able to do it seemingly abundantly above all that we could ask or think according to the power that's in you. You ain't trying to get it. Hmm? I ain't got it in me. Yes, you do. You was born with it in you. I think, I guess I'm stepping on toes. So many people spend their lives looking for that thing. That thing. If I could just get that, that thing. If I get that thing. Joy, help me with the no. If I get that thing. If I, I mean, hey, this is what they say. This is what they say. This, this, this is what they say, Harriet. If I had your hand. I turn mine in. They they playing around, but I don't want nobody else's hand. I'm good, Barbette, with my hand. I'm good. I'm good, Sonia, with what what I what I got. So I'm not trying to get nobody else's hand. I got. Huh. We 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 search after that thing that that's going to do it for them. They search after what's going to do it for them. That position that that can position them. They think if they rub rub shoulders with certain people and they get in certain rooms and they sit down with certain people, if I just if I just get 
when I used to have my show, if I just get on the word network and preach, I know my engagement's going to be good. The fact of the business is I thank God for the platform that God gave me, but I was actually doing good before the platform. Y'all not saying nothing. Hey, can I make an announcement to y'all? Because when you just got it and you tap into it, Linwood, you're going to be found no matter what. Oh, I got, I got self-confidence, Erica. I'm not arrogant, but I know who I am. I often tell people, uh, my friend, Prophet McKinstry, uh, he says to me, hey, man, do you know who you are? You Bishop Greg Davis. Man, you, you need to stop that. You, 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 you call him yourself. You do, 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 do. <laughs> and then every now and then I got to tell him, man, I know who I am. I just choose to teach. I, cho I, I uh, Harriet. I choose to keep myself humble so that my head won't get too bigger. You got to choose to humble yourself before the hand, the mighty hand of God. Prophet Jared, there you go. I feel good now you here. We search after that thing. We search after fame. We, we search after something. And when we, when, when it all boils down, we really don't know what we're in search of because what we're in search of it's already in us in search of it. Now everybody can try to be it because of social media, it. TikTok sensation, Instagram star, Instagram influencer, clubhouse influencer, Facebook. We're looking for the magic, looking for that magic, that, that magic formula. If I do this, it, it, then then I'll be I'll be the one. If I if I if I preach for this person, then I'll be the one. A magic formula. Get rich quick scheme. Wondering when will they get their chance like everyone else? Looking for somebody to put them on. Ain't nothing wrong with that. God uses people. Don't don't get me wrong. But before somebody, hey. I got a revelation right there. I got a download. Before somebody can put you on or do anything for you, you have to tap into what you got to offer to them. What do you have? What, what do you, what can you say about yourself? I'm trying to, Linwood. Looking for somebody to put them on, give them an opportunity. Nothing wrong with it. Someone to help them be great. When in actuality, I bought that word for $10 from Alex. In actuality, they already have in them what they need. I stopped by today in this lesson, today, this morning, this evening, to let you know, Pastor Linwood, Pastor Linwood Beal, Barbette, Dr. Paulette. Huh? Prophet Jerry, Shakim, Sonia, Carolyn, Brooke, Barbette, Talita, Jasmine, Jacqueline, Erica, Nikki, Dawn, Fredia, Dr. Paulette, Kimberly, Linwood, Zai, Deshaun, Nairobi, Harriet, Stacy, Lakeish, I believe, Ellen, Esther, Josie, Miss Ty, Ebony, Michelle, April, Julia, Kia, Rashandra, uh, Coach K, Laverne, Kimberly, Olivia, Deanna, Cheryl, Katina, Essie, Bethany. It's already in you. I need 29 people plus one to say it's already. Am I talking okay? It's it's already in, in, in actuality, it's already in you. What you need. You already have it. What you're looking for, it's in you. It's already, it's already in you. Woo! And it's already, I can close the room right now. And it's already on you. I believe without a shadow of doubt 
everyone was brought here with it. Now, my it ain't what Jerry's is. Prophet Jerry's is. My, my, my it ain't what Linwood is. Hmm? It, I, I don't have an it like nobody else. You don't have an it like nobody else. Y'all not saying nothing. Huh? Everyone was brought here. That means that God brought you here without purpose. God Almighty. Huh? Every time I say something that hits you, just say, it's in me. We spend our life looking for something that's already in us. Well, guess what? Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, the search is over. I have come here to announce to you that it's already in you. The search is over. Stop looking. Stop waiting. It's already in you. Candy, good to see you. It's already in you. Who you are who you were brought here to be, it's in you. Everybody got it. Well, Bishop, I want to argue that point because if that was the case, then everybody would be doing it. That is the case. Your argument is valid, but everybody ain't doing it because everybody won't reach their potential because they can't take the stuff in the middle. Y'all not saying nothing. What is the stuff? Dorian, good to see you, man. What is the stuff in the middle? Well, it's when you were born, God already had your purpose. You were predestined. He started at the end of the thing. You started at the beginning. You're working your way to where God has already been for you. I, Prophet Jerry, you can take it over. Huh? You can take it over. You can take it over. It's the stuff in the middle. Huh? It's the stuff in the middle that you have to go through that nobody tells you about because you have to just walk it out. If I knew how to handle the stuff in the if I knew that stuff was coming in the middle, if I knew betrayal was coming, if I knew denial was coming, if I knew lying was coming, if I knew all them people that would walk away, if I knew I was gonna get pregnant. On the way, if I knew all that, beard looks nice, cut down like that. Bless you, Bostic. See, somebody else gonna come on and say, Oh, Bishop, why you cut your beard? But thank you. If you understood the stuff, you was on your way to college and you met a boy, you met a man, and you got pregnant, and you thought, Where did this come from? It's the stuff in the middle that you have to deal with. If I just, if I just could, if I just had a known, but the fortunate, unfortunate, fortunate thing, and I'm gonna get more into that. God don't tell you about that. Everyone of our life don't look like what we actually plan for it to be because that's the stuff in the middle. If I could Linwood, when you preach, you just say, if I could just handle, that's a preacher voice. The stuff in the middle. I see the promise. I see the dream. I see it. Still so good to see it. But it's just the stuff in the middle. It's taking me out. Somebody say it's already in you. It's already in you. I believe everyone has that it. We spend our life looking for something that's already in us. We just have to tap into it. And today you're going to tap into it. You're going to tap into, you're going to tap into that it. You're going to tap into that it. This is a defining moment message. Either you're going to tap into what you were brought here for, or you're going to sit down and just let life pass you by. You're not going to, because you don't want to deal with the stuff in the middle. There are reasons we never tap into what's in us. The problem is your assignment has to fight 
with so many other things in order to be fulfilled at any time just put this already in you y'all not saying nothing let me reset that because i like the way that sounded the problem is your assignment has to fight with so many other things in order to be fulfilled in order to give birth some of you are fighting with your assignment some will never reach it because they don't want to fight i'll just be average my my mentor and spiritual father said average just means to be on top of the bottom that's all it means some 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 don't want to tap in so there are reasons you know i got some points for you right there are reasons why we never tap in to what's already in us. Before I give you those, the main reason is because we're searching for something that's already found. <laughs> we're searching for something that is already in us. We're looking for something that is already in us. We're praying for something and God is like, oh my God, did you read the scripture? Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we could ask to think according to the power. I say it is in you. I'm an Ephesians 3 and 20 person. Good afternoon, Mrs. Miss, Mrs. Huh? So we in search, Prophet Jerry, of something, I'm sure you're in the car, of something that is all ready in us if i could just find my purpose your purpose is not lost that's my favorite too we're gonna fight over it. your purpose is not lost your assignment is not lost the will of god for your life is not lost if it is where did you lose it so the first reason why we can't tap into what's in us. You ready, Kimberly? Doubt. Doubt. We doubt. Don bless you. Y'all sowing seeds already. Don bless you. The seed for the day is $23. In case you want to, anybody else want to, it's $23. That's simple. It's $23. Seed for the day is $23. Number one, we doubt whether we can do it or whether we are worthy. Whether we even have it, do I have it? And I keep telling you, comparison will kill your vision. Comparison will kill your vision, dead. I said compare. If I compare, when I start comparing myself to Prophet Jerry, Pastor Linwood, these prophets, my vision will die. Bless you, Linwood. I can't, I can't, oh, 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 I can do all that Prophet Jerry do, but I love to hear him say it. Y'all not saying nothing. Doubt. We doubt ourselves. We doubt whether we can. Y'all know why I don't call myself a prophet? Because I'm not, I, I'm not a prophet. I prophesy. I have the gift, but I don't walk in the office. I don't care how y'all fight with me and say I am. I am not. I'm comfortable with prophesying. I don't need the title. Y'all not saying nothing. I'm not, I'm, I, 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 I don't have any doubt after all I've been through, the reason why God left me here when my mother, when my mother, when my, I was laying in bed last night, I was thinking, when my mother tried to pull with a clothes hanger, tried to pull me out, how in the world could I doubt when she had two other babies that she pulled out successfully? And when it came to me, she said, you were so, I ain't gonna use the words. 
I ain't gonna use the words. Bless you, Jocelyn. I'm not gonna use the words that she used. So how could I doubt what I've been called to do if God left me here when two others died from the same hand? Y'all not saying nothing. Doubt! You doubting yourself. I don't know if I can do that. I heard the prophet speak over my life. I don't know if I can do that. I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know if I got that in me. And all you do is think about it. All you do is dream about it. Y'all not saying nothing. Huh? You jump off the porch and then you come back because you doubt. Woo! I'm, Dijon's son, good to see you. Huh? When you doubt yourself, you will never, ever, ever tap into it. Now, you know, I'm not naming it because you you got to name what your it is. So doubt. I don't know if I can do that, Bishop. I, I don't know. You already equipped for it. You're not trying to look for nothing. If I had, if I, if I had, if I had, if I had Carolyn, if I could speak like, if I could, if I could speak like, if I could speak like Barbette, oh, if I could just be like Benjamin, if I could pray. No! You're not supposed to do it like nobody else. Comparison will kill your vision. Y'all sit there looking at people on social media, envying them, and you don't know. You sitting there envying them about what they got, and they broke. You got more than they got. You're doing more than they doing. They just giving you a facade of what they want you to see. So doubt, we doubt ourselves too much. We doubt it too much. Number two, the reason why we can't tap into what's in us is we don't have patience to develop it. <laughs> Linwood, come take it over. They don't want to hear me. We don't have patience to develop into it. We want to be overnight wonders. Hey, y'all, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, bulletin from heaven. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? I didn't just not, I didn't, I didn't just show up on the scene. Y'all not saying nothing. I didn't just pop up on the scene. Right, my grandfather used to say that. <coughs> We want microwave success. We want instant. We Everything's instant. Instant potatoes. Instant everything. Instant, instant, instant. You're not going to pop up. You got you to gotta go through the process. You got to be developed. And, and developing in the old days when you took pictures, it was done in the dark. Y'all not saying nothing. Because if you develop in the dark, everybody can't see the blemishes and the mistakes. God don't want you to mess up on his dime once the light is on you. That's why so many people, so many people mess up because they get there too soon. They got the gift, but they don't have the know-how. They got the gift, but they don't have maturity. They got the gift, but they don't have the right attitude. They got the gift, but they don't have temperance. They got the gift, but they don't know how to talk to people. They got the gift, but they don't know how to control their attitude. They got the gift. They get there, but they can't keep it. You know, there are so many people that can, that can do it better than me. They can preach better than me. They can teach better than me. They can do everything better than me. But they don't have consistency. They wasn't developed. You're listening to a developed voice. You're listening to somebody that went on the backside of the deck. You're listening to somebody who's not perfect. You're listening to somebody who messed up. You're listening to somebody 
The voice that you hear, the wisdom that you hear is experience. The, the, the voice that you hear is not a novice. The voice that you hear has been beat up. Y'all not saying nothing. I thank God for Ananias Davis who told me, boy, do it slow so you can do it some more. Take your time, sonny. The old people used to tell you, take your time. You got a great gift, but it's not developed. Y'all not saying nothing. You got a great gift, but it's not developed. You think you know more than what you think you know. Patience. I want to be like so-and-so. You don't know what they've been through. You, you just see them. You just see them now. You don't see when people turn them down. You want to talk about Michael Jordan and all these people, all these people, all these people, all these people that are successful, that was turned down and told no. They were told no. Success means I failed at something and now it's working. Told y'all my story. I'm not going to go into it. My first television station, a local station turned down my, my demo tape. Oh no, this is not good enough. Sean Leslie, huh? They told me it wasn't good enough. That mean I needed to develop more because God wasn't giving me local. He was giving me national. He was giving me the world. I tried to get local, Prophet Jerry, and he was giving me the world. But I had to develop. Number three. The reason why you can't tap into what's in you is because you overthink it, overthinking it, overthinking it. What is overthinking? My definition of overthinking is putting things that's not that you in your head too much. You just in your head. You in your head, just always in your head. I wonder if I can, I wonder if I can. I don't just in your head, in your head. Overthinking, always thinking whether you have what it takes. Do I have what it takes? Overthinking. What if I do it and it don't work? Hey, Nikki, what if I do it and it don't work? What if I do it and it don't work? How about this? What if I do it and it works this time? The Holy Spirit just said to 10 of y'all, it's time to try it again. What if it works this time? What if this time it works? Nineteen people plus one. Put it in there. Plus ten. That's twenty-nine. That's thirty. Put in there. It's gonna work this time. Overthinking. Overthinking. You get a man, then you say, "He tell you. He tell you." He tell you, he tell you, the man tell you, I like you. He show you he like you. And then you with your crazy self saying, I wonder if he like me. <laughs> Overthinking. Huh? I want, a, I want a new car. They give you the car. Ooh, I don't know. Should I get this new car? Overthinking. Huh? Putting things there that's not there. Well, stop it. Asta, Astari J. I don't know. O S T E R I A J. Stop it. If it's you, then stop it. You're in the right place. Overthink it. You will never tap into what's in you if you overthink. Number four. I only got seven. Outside voices telling you what you can't do, what you don't have in you. You just crazy. You'll never do that, Dr. Paula. You'll never do that. Ain't nobody never did that in our family. Ain't nobody. You got to shut the noise. You got to shut the noise up. Outside forces will, will hinder you from tapping into. Huh? The power that's in you. 
out, shut the noise up, turn the volume down. Get you some noise cancellation ears. Cancel the noise in the background. You still on the first AirPods. There wasn't noise cancellation. The last ones, you can cancel the noise. You're listening to people while you're trying to tap in. Prophet Jerry, come get me. Did Linwood leave? Because I don't see nothing in here. Huh? The noise. The noise. And you're listening to people that ain't tapping in. I know. Prophet. Prophets. Carolyn. Carolyn. Deshaun. Y'all, ask me a question. Riddle me this. Riddle me this, y'all. Why do we listen to people that ain't in no better shape than us? Why would you listen to somebody that ain't married at all about your marriage? Why would you listen to somebody that ain't got no man at all telling you about your man? Y'all better verify people before you start listening to them. Verify them. You know, like your accounts, verify them. Are you doing any better than me? Do you got any more than me? Have you experienced any more than me? Why would you listen to somebody that ain't got what you got and let them speak on what you got? Gregory Bloomfield, good to see you on, on Instagram. Bless you, Benjamin, for the 23. Why in the world would you, the seed for today, a day somebody put it up uh is 23 it's simply 23 you're sowing into the year why would you listen to people that ain't doing what you got in you and let me tell you about some of these people some of these people that we listen to they know what's in you so they try to stop you before you can get any further the attack i got a revelation now Ruby. The attack is the 23rd. Wow. I didn't even realize that. The attack, Linwood, is not on where you at. The attack is on your future. Y'all not saying nothing. Bless you, Ebony. The attack is on your future. The future you is being attacked in your right now state. The future you is being attacked in your right now state. The enemy don't care. That's why the enemy don't care nothing. The, the enemy, the enemy don't want you to sow seeds. The enemy don't want you to sow seeds. It's not the seed that's threatening. What's threatening is the harvest that's going to come in the future from the seed. So he talks you out of. The enemy talks you out of anything now that will help you later. Goodbye. Prophet Jerry is coming and doing the benediction. I'm done. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all not saying nothing. The attack from people and talking you out of stuff is to hinder your future. They don't care nothing about your now. If we ever realize... The devil don't, the enemy, the devil, the devil don't care nothing. The spirit, the evil one, don't care nothing about your now. He only wants to hinder your future. Woo! Good God Almighty. It's your future. It's your future. I'm working, but ain't nobody saying nothing. He wants to attack your future. I don't know who I'm talking to. I don't know who I'm talking to. She can bless you. I don't know who I'm talking to you. I don't know, but I'm going back where I was because somebody, you had a baby and you, you think because you had the baby, you can back chat me if I'm talking to you, if you don't want to say it here, but you, you had a baby and you now have given up on what's in you, but the devil is a liar. You will prevail. You will finish college. I don't care how old you are. With the baby on your back, y'all not saying nothing. You will prevail. I need 19 people to put in there. Whoever I'm talking to, 
you will prevail. You will prevail. It was just a detour. It's not a dead end. Glory to God. I don't want to go there because I'm teaching. I'm motivating. I'm empowered. But I have to stop there and tell somebody, you, you, you think, well, this wasn't the plan in my life. It was the plan. It was the plan. It's the stuff in the middle. Nothing happens by chance. Well, girl, you're never going. You're never going. You're never going to finish now. You, you are a liar. Your mama liar with no teeth. You will prevail. I said you will prevail. I need 19 people to speak right now and open your and say you will prevail, whoever it is. I will prevail. Hallelujah. What? I will prevail. I will prevail. <laughs> I love I it. Prevail. I will prevail. Outside voices talking to you what you can't do and what you don't have in you. Bless you, Barbette. What you're not able to do, hanging with the wrong people. I told you, 2023 year, 2023 is the year of the check your circle. Hey. I will prevail. Check your circle. Because you will prevail. I don't know who I'm talking to. I ain't never said that in my life. But somebody, you have you had a child and you want to now you sitting there, you depressed because you had. You had that child. Some of you, it was years ago, and you it's time to get back. You will not let bitterness number five. I'm done. Wasted time. Wasting time. Wasting time. Wasting years. Days, hours, minutes, seconds, procrastinating. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it next week. I'll do it in a month. I'll do it in three months. Prophet Scott, I asked them to find you because I wanted to tell the testimony, to find you and have you come in clubhouse. But you good over here. Wasted time. Just wasting time. Putting off. Huh? Wasting time. You ain't got another day to wait. Do you know that people are dying young? You ain't got no time to waste. That's why that's I, I got an urgency on my life. I don't care if I got 30 more years. I got an urgency on my life. I'm going to enjoy life. I'm going to love. I'm going to live. Huh? You ain't got no more time to waste. Tap in. Tap in. Tap in to what's in you. Now, now, tap in, wake it up, wake it up. All right, Prophet Shanik, we'll, we'll bring you up. Wake it up. Woo, wake it up. You ain't got no time to sit and waste. Well, you know, uh. I said I was going to do it this year, but uh, uh, now I think I'm 2024. I'm planning for three years. What? Are you, are you crazy? You ain't got time to waste no more. Because seconds turn into minutes. And minutes turn into hours. And hours turns into days. And days turn into years. And you look up and you're angry because everybody around you is doing what they're supposed to do. And you look up and say, where have time went? Tick, tock, tick, tock, tick. Wasted. Bless you and Michelle Jackson. The seed today is $23. Tick tock. Wake up. You ain't got no more time to waste. 
you ain't got no more hours to waste. You ain't got no more days to waste. You can't even afford to wait another second. Tap in. Tap in to the greater that's in you. Tap into the exceedingly abundantly above all you could ask or think. Number six. Number six. Self-sabotage. It's one thing when it comes from the outside. But when you stuck with the monster in my head. Self sabotage. You're sabotaging yourself. You're killing your own vision. You're you you you're talking against your own self. That voice of doubt is killing you. Oh, wretched man that I am, you like Paul when he had the conversation, huh? The good that I would do, huh? Some of the most, Lord have mercy. Goodbye, y'all. No, I'm not going to say that. No, God, I'm not going to say that. Uh, 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 I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. If, if Lynn would push me, I'm going to say it. Some of the most gifted people, some of the most creative people, because they're so creative and so gifted, gifted, they sabotage themselves. Y'all, 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 I really wanted to say something else, but eh, I'm not going to say it like that. I wish you would because it's going to help us. <laughs> I'm not going to say. We're some of the craziest people in the world. Because I'm one of them. Creative people. Because we can just think anything. We're just creative. But we sabotage ourselves. You know why? You look at somebody like Kanye West. Creative. But sabotage. You know what I'm saying? Donald Trump. Sabotage. And I hate to say they all Gemini's. Whatever that means. Because I'm one. <laughs> huh? Sabotage. Because all we do is think. And we think ourselves into it. And we think ourselves out of it. We can be no. I'm. I'm done. I don't want to say that. Sabotage. Self sabotage. Number number seven. And I'm done. You so fancy, uh, intelligent. See, that's one of them right there, Prophet Jerry. <laughs> I can't even say that word. Inner battles. Number seven. Inner battles. Inner, inner wars, inner, inner turmoil, inner battles of unforgiveness, inner battles of because your mama left early, inner battles, inner, inter, inner, inside battles, family issues, family matters. I'm closing strong, Harriet. Family matters, inner battles, inner turmoil. In a frustration, warring against ourself. Woo! God Almighty, I'm done. Huh? Battling with ourself, fighting ourself. Y'all not saying nothing, boy. These lessons in the last month, they, I, I, it's a whole book. Huh? Inner, inner struggles. You can't bring back time. 
y'all y'all know I'm I'm in I'm in I'm in a I'm in a I'm in a I'm in a relationship and I, I told and I'm gonna be transparent I told Brooke I can't do nothing about the way that you were done in the past I can't change that you can't change the way somebody's been done in the past but what you can do is give them a great future y'all y'all not saying that you can't fight the past y'all not saying nothing. Huh? But they got to give you something to work with. People got you got to get rid of your inner battles. Paul had an inner battle. He wrote most of the New Testament, but he fought on the inside of himself. God Almighty Jesus, I'm done. Huh? I could fight my past. Oh, my mama was a prostitute. Oh, my daddy is this and this one is that one and this one did. And I've been mad. Didn't work. I can fight those. But I chose not to fight battles on the inside. I chose to fight on the outside. You can't be successful and tap into who you are when you are fighting in the battles. They're not coming back. You made some bad choices. Settle issues in your mind. The battle is in the mind, y'all. You will prevail. You will finish strong. I decree and declare by the power of God that you're tapping into the greatness. You're tapping into the seed of greatness. You're tapping into dreams. You will not fight any longer. And I'm not just talking to those that you think ain't got it together. I'm talking to those that got it together because some of us that got it all together, we fight inwardly more than those because we can't afford. I'm saying something if y'all not listening. We can't afford for you to see us fight on the outside because we got too many people that's following us. We got too many people that depend on us. But if you knew the thoughts, sure. Oh, my God. If you knew the thoughts that people had, I'd be lying if I said I'd never thought about committing suicide. I'd be lying. I'd be lying if voices never told me, you ain't nothing but the son of a hoe. I'd be lying if when I come on Clubhouse sometime and I come on all these things and I say, one of the hardest decisions was leaving the word network. It was my comfort zone. I'd be lying if I said sometime I come on in and say, who is anybody going to come on? Anybody want to hear me? In a battles, Greg Davis teaching everybody. I'd be lying if I say, is this going to work? Is that going to work? Trying this? Is it going to work? Step out? Huh? Huh? If we would all be guilty, not just me and Prophet Jerry saying it, he got in the car. If we all would be honest, we all fight in a battles. But the difference in my inner battle is I'm doing what God called me to do as I speak right now to you. Don't you sit there and fight those inner battles and not do what you called to do. Paul said, I fight daily. So I, I decree and declare. I don't care how you, I don't care what you, what happened as a child. I don't care who touched you. I don't care who violated you. I don't care how your mama treated you. I don't care how your daddy treated you. You shall prevail. That is the word of the Lord. The word, the word prevail is the word. I didn't have, huh? The prevail. You will prevail. You will, you will prevail. You will prevail. The banner of prevailing is waving. Prevail. You will. That is the word of the Lord. You will prevail. You will prove more powerful than opposing forces. You will prove more powerful than opposing forces. You will prove more powerful than opposing forces. You will be victorious. You will prove more powerful than opposing forces. That's what prevailed me. Now unto him, bless you, Jasmine, that is able to do. Good night, y'all. Good evening. Good morning. You will prevail. You will conquer. I said the word prevail means it means to prove more powerful than opposing for and then opposing forces. 
be victorious. Be glory and honor and majesty forever and ever. <laughs> I need you to get that prevailing seed today. Sow your prevailing seed. I'm going to prevail this year. Sow your prevailing seed of $23. Some of y'all, you want to give again. huh? You want to give double. God told you to give something else. Sow your prevailing. I will prevail. Prevail. I will prevail. So your prevailing seat of $23. Do it now. Do it now. Do it now. Some of you already sold. Some are going to give 123. Huh? Because this word was the word for you. There, there are words, Prophet Jerry, and then there are words. And today, this is the latter. And then there are words. Huh? You will prevail. How are you going to prevail? Because it's in you. The fight is in you. The fight is in you. Pastor Lynn will just double it. The fight is in you. You are going to prevail. Prove more powerful than opposing forces. Be victorious. Y'all not saying nothing. I will prevail. So fight the good fight of faith. Fight the good fight of faith. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding Nairobi, prevail. Prevail. Don't you go back. Tap in. Tap in in them gifts. Tap in in that assignment. Deshaun bless you. Tap into your assignment. Tap into your dream. Tap into that shop. Tap into that. Bless you, Carolyn. Tap into the entrepreneurship. Tap into your own house. Tap in. Tap in. Tap in. Tap in. What are you called to do? Bless you, Kaya. Kaya. Tap in. What are you called to do? What are you called to do? What do you have in your house? I ain't got nothing but some oil. Nope. That's an oil factory. You're going into business, girl. Go borrow. Told y'all, y'all better start using other, other people's money. Go borrow some vessels. Close the door, you and your son. Pour the oil. Pour the oil until it runs out. Bring me another basin. I ain't got, you ain't got no more. You done poured all oil. She goes to the prophet and say, prophet, here is everything. He says, go pay the debt. And live off the rest. She went from having a little all to all business. Tap into what's in you. What's in your house already? Brittany Cross, what's in your house? Singles? You ain't waiting for no man. Huh? What's in your house? What's in your hand? What's in your house is what he already gave you. Huh? Inside of you. What's in your heart? What's your passion? What's in your hand? That's the thing you work. House, hand, heart. House, hand, heart. What's in your hand, Sean? What's in your heart? Passion. Hand. Thing to do. Heart. Passion. House. The very thing that he's giving you to multiply. What's in there? Dollar sign, Greg Davis 10. PayPal, contact Greg Davis. You preach it, Prophet Jerry. Hey, Destiny. PayPal, contact Greg Davis at gmail.com. Givelify, Greg Davis Ministry. What's in your hand? What's in your heart? You preach it, Des. What's in your house? It's already in you. The books, Prophet Jerry. The books. One book every six months. That's what you will write. You will lead legacy. You will lead legacy. You will lead legacy. Your books will be your legacy. People will read when you're dead and gone. Books. You have the anointing to write. You have the anointing. Kimberly, write the books. Do you hear what I'm saying? Write the books. 
I can't think. Mike, Mike Murdoch. You have Mike Murdoch anointing. That's what's on my life. The wisdom. I'm out of here, y'all. Clubhouse, hold on. I'm getting ready to disconnect on Instagram. If you didn't hear the whole message, it's going to be posted on Instagram. It's going to be posted on Facebook. What's in you? It's in you. It's already in you. So stop doubting. Have patience to be developed. Stop overthinking it. Stop listening to outside voices. Thank you, Julia, for the seed. Huh? Stop wasting time. Stop self-sabotaging yourself. And stop with the inner battles. I don't care who didn't like you, who didn't treat you right, who messed over you. Your mama didn't talk to you right. Your daddy, your grandmama, y'all, you you're breaking the curse. You're welcome. Elite Press 7, you're welcome. Congratulations. You're sowing the seed of $23. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Bless those of you that are on Instagram. The message will be posted. So that seed. I'm out of here. Those of you that are on uh, Facebook, I appreciate you. If you want the message, if you want the message, if you want the written version of the message and you're not on Clubhouse to send us your information, you can write Greg Davis Show at gmail.com. Greg Davis Show at gmail.com. We'll send it to you. You're sewing that 23 or that 123. The Lord bless you. I'm going to leave the given information up for a minute. Bless you.